Suppose that r vector is a differentiable vector function of constant length c. Show that r dot r prime equals zero. In other words, show that the velocity of a vector r of constant magnitude is always perpendicular to r. Let's begin using a sketch on an xy rectangular coordinate system. What do you think it means for a position vector to have constant magnitude? Or for a vector, doesn't have to be a position vector, but for a vector to have constant magnitude. Let's take a position vector of a certain magnitude. We'll, we'll call this magnitude of this position vector r. Well, if r has a constant magnitude, regardless of its orientation, that would mean that as a position vector, r would lie on the rim of a circle. This circle is a circle of radius r. No matter where we are on this circle, r has the same magnitude. r has a particular magnitude here, or here, or here. Again, these are just different position vectors that lie on the perimeter of this circle. These various vectors are just represent different position vectors as R is allowed to evolve. So a vector of constant magnitude R in this circumstance would be a position vector that lies at some point on a circle regardless of its orientation. So let's indicate that position vector of constant magnitude r with the variable c to remind us that it's a constant. Our goal is to show that the velocity, our job is to show that the dot product between the position vector and its derivative is equal to zero. Now don't forget the derivative of a position vector is called the velocity of that position vector. So really, we are trying to show that for a position vector of constant magnitude, the velocity vector will be equal to zero. Now, what does that mean? How do we interpret that? Well, remember, dot product, if a dot product between two vectors are equal to zero, is equal to zero, then those two vectors are perpendicular to each other. Now, if this circle represents the parameterized path of this vector function of position, then we've already said in previous lectures that velocity is tangent to the path of travel. But we said it without proof. What we are about to show is that for a position vector of constant magnitude, the velocity vector is tangent to the path of travel and that the angle between the velocity and the position vector is 90 degrees. What we are trying to answer is whether or not r and its derivative, the velocity vector, perpendicular. To show that, let's seek some inspiration. 
we see that we have a dot product between the position vector and its derivative. Well, the derivative of a position vector is a derivative with respect to the parameter t. What if we took the derivative of something that is based off of the position vector? In fact, what if we took the derivative with respect to the parameter t of the position vector dotted with itself? Well, in while doing this, let's apply the product rule with the dot product. This evaluates to the derivative of the first vector dotted with the second vector plus the first vector dotted with the derivative of the second vector. Now remember, dot product is order independent, so you could evaluate the dot product in any order. So the derivative of r dot r plus r dot the derivative of r is just 2 times r dot the derivative of r. Here is where we get our r dot r prime. Well, what about the left-hand side? Well, remember, a vector dotted with itself is equal to the magnitude of the vector squared. So this is the derivative of the magnitude of r squared. Well, let's differentiate that. That becomes 2r dr dt. Well, in evaluating this, let's simplify a little bit. We have 2 on the left-hand side, 2 on the right-hand side. And remember, we said that r, the magnitude of r vector, is a constant. Since the magnitude of r vector is a constant, we can write r times the derivative of a constant with respect to t is equal to r vector dotted with its derivative, the velocity vector. Now, you remember from your first semester of calculus that the derivative of a constant is zero. Since the derivative of a constant is zero, that left-hand side evaluates to zero, which means the dot product of the position vector and the derivative of the position vector is equal to zero. This is what we're trying to show. Because the position vector is constant in magnitude, then we've just showed that any vector constant in magnitude has a velocity that is perpendicular to it. Because remember, the dot product of two vectors is equal to the zero if those two vectors are perpendicular to each other. The alternative definition of dot product says the magnitude, the dot product between two vectors is equal to the product of the magnitudes of each vector times the cosine of the angle between them we know that this is equivalent to zero, which means cosine of theta is equal to zero, which means that theta is equal to either 90 degrees or 270 degrees. In other words, the dot product of a position vector and its derivative which again is equivalent to the dot product between a position vector and the velocity vector is equal to zero degrees or is always 
perpendicular for a constant magnitude of r vector.